Hey, you're watching Hexus TV. We're at CS 2011, uh, CS Unveiled, with John Taylor. He's a Director of Products Marketing for AMD. Sounds good. Yep, um, and so we're talking about Fusion today, uh, the new AMD processors. So, John, you want to tell us why, uh, why this is special, why this is a big deal for AMD? Yeah, well, it is very special. I'm glad you put it that way. It, it represents years of uh, combined engineering effort, our software engineers, our silicon engineers, um, as we brought together the full capabilities of the GPU and the CPU and the video processor all together in a, uh, a single design. So this is our E-Series Fusion APU that is launching here at, uh, at CES, actually launched earlier today. Sorry, and that's a, that's a dual core chip in there as well? Correct, so this represents a new dual core design from AMD. Uh, it's been codenamed Bobcat. So very small die area, very low power, yet delivers a full set of capabilities. Uh, you know, mainstream PC type capabilities. But interestingly, if you go by die size, it's actually more GPU than CPU. So that's a testament both to, um, you know, the architecture of the, bold, the uh, Bobcat cores themselves, but also to the emphasis that these designs by AMD place on the role the GPU plays in delivering the, the better consumer experience today. Okay, and you've got uh, an example of a laptop there from Sony. I do. Uh, I just want to kind of just show us, because this is, Really, really, really thin. Yes, this is so. This is an example of what's one of the uh, very hot notebook PC categories here at CES. This is a 11.6 uh, inch. Uh, it's an ultra thin, and of course, it's a uh, kind of a what would you call that? Uh, mauve pink. Uh, Definitely pink. I think. Yeah, it's just my favorite of all of them here on the uh, on the show floor. But this is running the uh, dual core E350 Fusion APU. So again, in this very thin form factor, you're going to get uh, more than 10 hours of uh, battery life using a metric like Mobile Marco 7. You're going to get the ability to do multitasking through that dual core CPU. You've got a, a dedicated high definition video decoder block, the uh, same technology that you'll find in our new uh, Radeon 6000 series GPUs that la just launched. You get DirectX 11 capability, which is the API introduced with Windows 7. It brings a number of important benefits for graphics and for computing as well, all in this single design. Amazing. Um, so, to us a bit as well, like why it's good for, for your business users as well? It sounds great, you've got your GPU and everything right. for consumers, but yeah. how about business users? Yeah, well, there's a couple ways to answer that, where business users care about form factor and battery life, and then the kinds of things that they're doing increasingly today. So I'm an example of a business user who travels heavily for my job. I traveled on the neighborhood of 150,000 miles last year. Um, and so the form factor really matters to me, the weight of the bag that I have to carry, but then that even if I am in, uh, you know, sitting in a coach seat, the person in front of me five minutes after takeoff reclines, I can still open these kinds of devices, yet they have a full keyboard and I can be productive on them. So that's one big piece. And then the battery life, that I don't have to worry about where my power cord is as I go through the day. Um, that also matters. But then if you think about the ways that we are collaborating today, the ways that we present our ideas today, they're increasingly visual in nature. Visual communications is a far more effective way to get your point across. So Office 2010 with PowerPoint is now GPU accelerated. Our browsers, so much of our work day is spent in browser technology. That is now GPU accelerated. Um, video conferencing to collaborate with a workforce that's spread across India and China and the U.S. and Canada and Europe. Um, you know, these are the kind of things that people are looking for in these types of devices and, and we're delivering that. Lastly, how's this going to do against Intel and what they're doing now? Well, I, I think the interesting thing about that is that there's some misperception that the technology that's powering these types of laptops, the, the Fusion APUs, are competing head-to-head -head with what Intel is launching. Intel is, in fact, starting at the very high end of their stack and you know, have said that their plan is to bring that down from there. We're starting in the very portable, uh, very mobile, long battery life, sleek form factor, but also more affordable segments of the marketplace, and then bringing a chip to market in the middle of the year that's called the A-Series APU, codenamed Lano, to go after those bigger um, form factors, those more mainstream and performance price points. So initially, the technologies don't compete head to head. However, if you look at, you know, fast forward to exiting 2011, I think what you'll see is that uh, we've placed our premium on the visual experience and where the software workloads are headed. Consumers today, the amount they work with videos, the amount they work with, um, image files, the amount that they want to do, even high definition video conferencing, 
the new types of user interfaces, you know, the promise of what we see in a technology like Connect, those all represent data dense workloads that lend themselves to parallel processing. The CPU alone is not the answer there. You need a balanced design of pulling together full discrete level GPU with multi-core CPU, and we're the only company that can do that. Thanks a lot, Josh. Brilliant insight. Uh, you're watching Hexus TV. Tune in soon for more.